this tutorial we are going to see how to add uh, and remove the table rows dynamically using Vue.js. Um, actually, uh, the, the same thing have done using jQuery in um, previous in two tutorials. You can refer both this tutorial to you know add and remove the table rows dynamically. Let's see how to uh, you know do the same thing using Vue.js. So for that first create uh, you know project in your project folder. So I'm going to create a dynamic table view project name. So opening that project in my uh, Visual Studio code. Then creating index.html file. I'm copying this, uh, you know, HTML snippet. So in the head of HTML, I added a uh, Vue.js reference. Next, I am creating, you know, uh, div that is a Vue.js app container. Uh, there where we uh, mount our Vue.js application. So. So whatever the Vue.js in Vue develop, we will mount everything in the div uh, with the app ID of app. Next, we are you know initializing our Vue.js application by creating instance of view. So I created. So to test this i'm adding i'm adding data property called msg hello world. i'm displaying that data in html using string interpolation so let's access dynamic table view yeah it's working fine next yeah, next I am you know writing uh, logic for the dynamically to add uh, table row and remove the table row using Vue.js so I'm adding uh, um, invoice products uh, uh, array. Uh, in that array we have the object that contains product number product name product price product quantity everything so let's go and add this as a data property here okay so let's use this in your you know let's create table Let's create a copy paste the table. I uh, added the table. So I had the V for. I'm accessing this invoice products in the using v4 directive based on the the number of objects in the invoice products the v4 automatically adds table row and removes the table so all the things is taken care by this v4 directory based on the number of objects that is present in the view 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 uh, invoice products array okay okay let's see this in the browser let's save this and say see you know view this in browser so this is how it looks so for you know styling purpose I'm including uh, you know uh, 
um, bootstrap and font are some and uh, some of the styles are already written already in the head section okay so let's now let's add the logic for you know adding table row and remove the table row the first we will add you know on uh, on so add a table uh, in a button on clicking on this we will call the function that is method or add new row so uh, within the method within the methods add a new method name called add new row so on uh, on calling this just push the new object uh, to the invoice product sorry so if you push the view for automatically you know uh, you know adds a new row based on the the number of uh, objects present in the um, invoice product sorry so let's test this so on clicking on this we are calling it so it uh, pushes the uh, new object so automatically view for adds new row okay now we need to add the logic to remove the row on the particular row okay now I'm going to add, add a delete row method the delete row method <coughs> so so here in the first row on clicking on the delete row I am pausing the index based on the index uh, you know I'm delete uh, I know splicing it from the invoice product okay now just come under calculate total see on the click on this it will delete okay so now now we uh, added the logic for you know adding and removing the table rows so let's add the remaining logic you know to calculate total and calculate line total so now i'm adding the method called calculating line total okay so whenever you do the changes in the you know price or quantity whenever you do the changes in the price and quantity we need to calculate the uh, total okay that is what the uh, uh, so i have added the event listener called change so on the change on the change i am call i am calling the ca calculate line total this method so i am getting the price and total quantity and calculating the total and assigning to the line total okay so let's see so so save this and reload the page so this is up okay now so now finally uh, I want to you know you know display the subtotal tax and the invoice total price okay so in order to so i just added so i need to add one more function called calculate total that does on every line change you need to calculate this line total okay so now add few more um, you know data properties that will hold line total and tax and the subtotal 
okay now let's check this reload the page so it will automatically it calculates the line total then subtotal then uh, five percent tax finally talk calculates total so let's check all these things oh this is how okay we successfully created you know dynamically adding table rows and removing the table rows using widgets also we uh, had a you know some invoice logic in this tutorial i think you will like it thanks for watching uh, please subscribe my channel thank you